What's up, fam? Extraordinary life with Elijah. And today, Jeff and Michael are my extras and I am the ordinary. Jeff, the excellence that you bring to life is incredible. I'm so glad that you get to be my brother-in-law and I bless you. And Michael, you're full send, man. Everything that you do in life is extreme. And I love the passion, the tenacity, the intentionality that you bring to life. And I bless both of you in Jesus' name. Family, as I'm out and about doing an episode on the go this week, do you, do you notice the absence of that noise? Probably not. <laughs> if it was a week earlier, I would not be able to do this episode in my car because of the incredibly annoying loud noise that was in my car that I didn't know that I had <laughs> a number of weeks ago, not months ago now, Jeff, my brother-in-law, my sister Sarah were heading out of the country for a vacation. I took them both to the airport to drop them off. As soon as we jumped into my car and started driving, Jeff said right away, bro, your back wheel bearings are definitely going out and you need to get those fixed. <laughs> I was like, what? How can you tell? I don't know. I don't hear anything. And he's like, no, seriously, you can't hear that? Like, it's horrible, man. And I was like, hey, all right, I'll, I'll get that fixed. Well, I got busy. I forgot. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I couldn't honestly hear much of anything. Jeff came back up to Bozeman. We did an event called Revival Fire together. Jeff took pictures. I did video. Jeff jumped into my car and said, bro, you haven't got those wheel bearings fixed and they're worse. Like, what is wrong with you, dude? Your, your wheels are going to fall off. It's not that I was doubting my brother-in-law. I just, I didn't notice. I couldn't hear the sound. I don't know anything about cars. And so it was completely off radar to me finally decided, oh, it's time. I got to call Mike, get this thing into the shop, get it fixed. Take the car over to him. He said, yeah, dude, I'll take a look at it and let you know. Calls me back up and says, yeah, man, your wheel bearings are hammered, bro. <laughs> like, You got to get those fixed up or your wheels are going to fall off. Like That's what holds your wheel on. It's kind of important. To be fair, if I'm saying things that are wrong, Michael did not tell me the wrong thing, nor did Jeff. I'm just a total noob. I don't know things about cars. <laughs> After a little while, Michael called me up with the total damage, said, hey man, here's the deal. Got your wheel bearings fixed, bada boom, bada beam, but I gotta check in with you on one other thing, bro. You gotta get yourself some new tires. Like <laughs> Your tires are on their last leg. When I went to pick up the car, I said, Michael, can, can you show me? Cause I, I don't know, man. Like I don't know about cars. He's like, yeah, homie, I got you. Don't worry about it. Come take a look at your tires. Takes me over to a car that he was working on. Said, check out this tread. This is good tread. He said, now let's go look at your car. Oh my word, what happened? Jumps on my car, shows me my tread and the edges and then says, see right around here on the outside, see this cracking? Like you don't have any like banding showing through yet, but bro, that crackage right there, that's like blowout nation waiting to happen. <laughs> no bueno. Oh my goodness, guys, it can be so intimidating being able to hang out with people that have expertise in an area of life that you don't have expertise in. But in that space, that's where I learned my extraordinary lesson for the week. Family, my experience puts on display the beauty of life in community as the body. That there's so many of us that go through life that start developing elements in our lives that are kind of like the wheel bearings on my car. Like your life is making this noise. <laughs> it's just exhibiting it. It's so incredibly obvious to people around you. But when they say, hey man, have you ever considered this in your life that, that you might uh, have a lack of uh, patience? You're like, no way, bro, there's no way. I have a lack of patience in my life. What are you talking about? <laughs> and, then, and then after a time, somebody gets back together with you and they're like, bro, it's gotten worse. Like the noise in your life from the lack of character is 
so obvious. Like you haven't got that fixed yet. <laughs> you're like, no way, man, you're crazy. I don't have any problems in my life. But then you're like, well, you know what? I guess maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll humor you. Like maybe I'll reach out to a spiritual leader. Maybe I'll work, reach out to my pastor or my small group leader and say, check out my life. Do you, do you see any character issues? They take a look at your life. You're like, bro, you've got serious problems. Your life is falling apart. How, how did you not know that you had these character issues in your life. Don't worry, homie, we got you. We'll fix you right up. A family. The beautiful thing about this is, is just the, the beauty of relationship that I, I have with both Michael and Jeff, that both guys are absolutely for me, that they have amazing expertise in the area of mechanical ability. And as they engaged my car, it was so easy for them to just say, hey man, like your wheel bearing is shot and he's changed. And then when I took it to Michael and said, hey Michael, can you can you fix this? Can I, I'll honor your life with payment if you'll honor my life with the expression of your expertise. And that in that, as I had issues that he was just matter of fact, no worries, homie, I got you. That's what I do. That's like, boom, that's my strength. <laughs> so beautiful to be in that kind of community. And my encouragement to you is, is that when we're in community together, that very often the things that are most problematic in our lives, that it's creating the most grinding, that's creating the most opportunity for our wheels falling off in relationship and experiencing blowout nation, that they're things that develop slowly over time, that everything is OEM, it's, it's looking great, we're not out of spec, but that over time as things wear that there's, there's areas of my life where i begin to make compromises and that slowly there's these things that start grinding in my life that they become noisier and noisier but it's such a slow drift i'm not aware of it because it's developing in my life day by day but then as i come around community that i'm in fellowship with others and i get around them they're like man it's so incredibly noticeable and it's just grinding and grating in the body man that as people in love point those things out to me not to shame me or to cause me any harm or to embarrass me but to to truly guard my life in christ and to, to call it to attention that as i then submit my life to the people around me and allow them to minister to me through grace and love the beauty is is that they get to bring me back into alignment with the full abundance in the life of christ so that those who are traveling through life with and around me don't experience blowout nation. Family, my encouragement to you is that if you don't have that kind of community in your life, those people that you're doing life with, you can safeguard you in Christ, call things out that may be causing noise in your life or might be inviting blowout nation, <laughs> you would Find that group of people and do life with them. Develop those relationships where you can have that kind of trust and relationship to be able to receive those kind of insights and then receive those overhaul on those areas of your life that need to be brought up to OEM standards. If you subscribe to what I am doing, then hit the button, hit it and then get it. Hit the bell as well so you get notified with the new content. And if you love this video, you didn't just like it, then hit the thumbs down button. <laughs> I pray blessings on all of your days. I love you guys lots and I will see you in the next video.